Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video the Studio. Today I'm gonna share with you how to recreate that title from our cinematic hype title pack. So let's check it out. So right now we're gonna do it from scratch, but you can download the macro to use it from the edit page very easily. All right, so let's get started. Right now we're on the edit page, which is gonna go over to effect title. And here we're gonna just go down to effect and search composition, bring that in the timeline right there. And then we're just gonna move over to fusion. I'm gonna move the media out on the right over there. First off, we're gonna bring a background node in the working area and then we're gonna bring a text node in the working area we're then gonna just link the output of the text one to the background one and merge them together and then we're just gonna take the output of the merge two and bring it here to the media out so we can see what we're doing on screen now let's just select text one we're gonna write whatever we want here so i'm gonna go with davinci resolve and then we're gonna change the font for this specific title we've used basement grotesque it's copyright free to use so i'll put a link to it in the description below so right now i want to create three names at the top of the frame so i'm just gonna select here the text two i'm gonna just copy it with command c on mac and then i'm just gonna hit command v to paste it i'm gonna paste a first one and a second one and we're gonna link them together so here i'm just gonna link the output of the text one one to the text one two and it just create a new merge we're just gonna then bring that over there and I'm gonna link the output of that merge to the main timeline here to merge two. So it's gonna bring that to the main composition. Now I'm just gonna move the view to the merge two so we can see only the text one and text two to make all modification. And here I'm just gonna select text one. We're gonna write uh, whatever name. So here I'm gonna go with Lisa, for example. And for the family name, I'm gonna go with uh, Boshar. Perfect. Now I'm gonna bring the position of Boshar down a little bit, and then I'm gonna go back to text one with Lisa, and we're gonna just bring the size down considerably, like so, and I'm gonna bring the position down a little bit on this one. Perfect. Now you might ask why I'm doing that, why I'm using two texts instead of using only one text. It's because I wanted to have uh, one text that is smaller than the other one and you cannot do that with only one text node. It's just a rule of design in general that you want to have something big, something medium and something small to make it easy to read and have your design uh, fairly balanced. So right now we're going to adjust the overall position of that entire text. So I'm going to select my merge tool and I'm going to hit shift space to bring the select tool window and we're going to search for transform and here I'm going to bring a transform node in between those two merge. So now I'm going to bring the size down a little bit. Now I'm going to go to my media out so we can see the entire composition once again and I'll make sure that my transform is selected and I'm going to bring the size considerably. So let's go about that and then I'm just going to bring that up. Okay, we're going to reduce it again a little bit. Maybe we can go with 0 uh, 0.4. I think it's good like that. Perfect. Let's just balance it out. And I think it's nice like this. Now that we've done one text, we're basically just going to duplicate that node structure and create the two other texts. So I'm just going to select the text one, text two, the merge, the transform, and then we're going to hit command C to copy them. And then we're just going to hit command V to paste them. And then I'm going to paste another one. I'm just going to make uh, everything lined up so it's just easy to read and easy to see what we're doing. And here I'm going to delete that merge and I'm going to link them in their own little bubble by linking here the transform, the output of that transform to this one. Let's just create a new merge. And then I'm going to link the output again of that transform to this merge. That's going to create a new merge. And then I can link the final output of that merge to the main timeline that I've created. And then we have everything merged together again. So why did I do that? Is because here I'm just gonna create uh, an animation that's gonna affect that entire node structure. I'm gonna create an opacity animation that's gonna affect the three texts, but I don't want it to affect uh, this text and the fourth one that's gonna create right there. So right now I've created like a separate branch where I can just have one node here that's gonna affect that entire structure. All right, so right now let's just adjust the position of those texts. So here I'm gonna select the transform right there and we're gonna just change the center so here i'm gonna go with 0 0.1 and it's a bit too much because right now it's almost out of frame i'm gonna just bring it here 
to try to line up with uh, that text. So it's going to be about 0 0.25. So then I'm going to go to the other transform and we're going to do the opposite on the opposite direction. So here center, we're going to go with, with 0 0.75 and we've done the exact same thing, but in the other direction. So here we go. I'm just changing the name of each text node, just put any name that you would like to put there. And now we're just going to create the last name right here. So now we're just going to select the Lisa Beauchard node structure. So here, the text one, two, the merge and the transform. We're just going to copy them, copy it forward. We're going to paste them and then we're going to link uh, the transform output to the merge to bring it to the main composition. And here, we're just going to select the transform and we're going to bring the position down a little bit. I'm going to increase the size because I'm going to make it something a bit more important. For example, we're going to put like director and then the name of someone. So right now I'm just going to go above to the text Lisa and we're going to write director. And then for the name here, we're going to put Maria Vauclair, for example. I'm going to go back to transform and bring the position down a little bit more, I think like that. Perfect. All right, now that we have our layout, we're going to create the animation. So we're going to do a simple opacity animation on uh, the DaVinci Resolve, then the director of Maya Vauclair, and then those three names above. So right now I'm going to do it with keyframe. So uh, because probably uh, more advanced people will use anim curve. That's what we use to create the pack, uh, but it could be a bit hard to get you at around it. So right now I'm just going to show you with keyframe because it might be a bit easier to understand. And once you have like a basic understanding of that, maybe can move towards anim curve there is a lot of tutorial out there and we're probably gonna try to make a full-on 30 minute comprehensive tutorial in the future for now let's just click on text one right here here we're gonna drop keyframe on the opacity so first off i'm gonna go to frame 15 and then i'm just gonna drop one at opacity at one i'm gonna bring then down the cursor to zero and bring the opacity down to zero. So now we have the first animation happening with the DaVinci Resolve. Then we're going to go to frame 10, just move forward a little bit. And actually let's make something a bit different. Uh, we're going to not do an opacity. We're going to do a mask and I'm just going to bring here a rectangle. We're going to link the rectangle output to this merge and then we're going to link again that output to the other merge. And basically, as you can see now, it's masking all the other text. I'm just going to extend this and here I'm going to click invert. So we're going to have the opposite effect. I'm going to just stretch that a little bit and then we're going to basically hide those text behind that big rectangle block. And uh, that's going to be our animation, which is going to bring it out from that mask. So I'm going to select that transform right here. I'm going to go uh, to frame 25. I'm going to drop a keyframe on position. We're going to do the same thing here with this transform. We're going to go and drop a keyframe on the position as well on frame 25. Then we're going to go to frame 10 and we're going to go hide them behind the mask. So here I'm just going to bring that up and hide it right behind the mask. And we're going to do the same thing here with that transform and we're gonna just bring down those names behind the mask as well. Now we have our animation, we're just gonna make it smooth by going in the spline editor, clicking right there to make sure we have all our point displayed. And then I'm just gonna select all those points, hit S on my keyboard, then hit T, and then we're gonna bring the ease in to uh, 85. Here we go. So now we have a nice curve, a nice progressive curve. And now if we were to play it, we have a nice opacity and then the mask coming into play. And that's pretty much it. That's how you will create such a title. I'll put in the description below the macro for this title. The animation is a bit different and we've used anim curve instead of keyframes. Let me know in the comment if you would like me to redo this, but using anim curve, uh, it might be a bit more advanced and a bit more complicated, uh, but maybe it might be interesting to you because that's what we use to create that pack uh, that make the title way more responsive and it's easy to stretch without using a keyframe stretcher. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigastudio.com.